I'm emotional, I'm angry, I'm confused, because um, not only did I lose a mother, I lost a brother too out of this. Tonight, a family shattered by a horrific act of domestic violence. They're sharing words of warning. Tavon Rose is accused of murdering his mother, then hiding her body in a wooded area behind her house. Tonight, their loved ones tell Fox 13 that Rose has been dealing with schizophrenia for years. Let's go to Fox 13's Jack Bill Yu. He's live tonight at 201 Poplar. Jack, this case was reset, and it's not going to move forward for another month, at least not through the court system. Yeah, Daryl and Darcy, Rose is in custody here at 201 while he waits for a mental evaluation. His stepbrother told me that he's still processing what happened, but he's not sure if jail or prison are the right places for him. She's the reason who I am today. Um, she was a big mother figure in my life, and uh, uh, it's, 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 it, this is going to be a hard one for me to just process. Trevor Taylor's stepmother, Rochelle Hill, was found murdered in a wooden area behind her home during a welfare check earlier this month. Her son, Tavon Rose, was arrested and charged with first-degree murder, tampering with evidence, resisting arrest, and abuse of a corpse. Taylor says Rose spent the years leading up to his mother's death in and out of mental health facilities and on and off of medication. There was incidences where... Um, you know, she had to lock herself in her room just because she, you know, he would have his episodes. He was diagnosed with schizophrenia. Taylor says he was out of town when a family friend called him to relay the tragic news. His stepmother was dead and his stepbrother was in custody. He was just trying to help him. She was, she was, um, she loved him dearly. Fox 13 caught up with a licensed clinical social worker from Baptist Health who says family members often think they're capable of caring for a loved one dealing with extreme mental illness. But in reality, the kind of care they need can be difficult even for professionals to provide. Sometimes families are just like, no, we can do this. And they can sometimes, but it's unfortunately sometimes this is what happens. A Rose is currently being held without bail. His next court date is set for late November. Daryl. It is Fox 13's Jack Bill, you live tonight. Thank you, Jack.